Hi. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about the difference between direct mutual funds and regular mutual funds. So most people by now are aware that each mutual fund has a direct option and a regular option. But if you are not aware, then you can just look at the name of the mutual fund which appears. And if it has the word regular, uh, then you are in a regular mutual fund and you are paying commission to uh, your advisor or whoever was the advisor who put you into that mutual fund. While if the word direct is there, then you're not paying commission. Now, many people feel, okay, fine, there are direct and regular mutual funds, but why should I care, right? So I just want to show you with an example as to why you should care and uh, what actions you should take. So here I've chosen Farag Parikh Flexi Cap Fund. Uh, the AUM is very large, 71,000 crores, so it's a very popular fund. Uh, that's why I chose it. And the 10-year um, CAGR for direct is 18.85%. And the 10-year CAGR for regular is 17.97. Now, the reason the direct uh, version is higher is because of the expenses. Okay. So what does this mean over a 10-year period? So over a 10-year period, the hit on the amount invested, if you had invested in regular instead of direct, is 40.28%. So on 10 lakhs, the hit is 4,2,800. So this 4,2,800 uh, is what goes to your advisor if you choose to have an advisor. And if you don't choose to have an advisor, it comes to you. So that is the money that or the opportunity loss that you have had if you had 10 lakhs invested in Parag Parik 10 years ago, right? And this now some people have very large portfolios. They have many regular funds. Uh, so the amount of the hit or the amount that they're paying advisors uh, can be quite large. Okay. Now the key thing is that for most people uh, going direct uh, is quite easy. So any fresh money that they have, uh, they should definitely put it into direct, both SIP or lump sum. And they can go direct through very many apps like MFU, which is Mutual Fund Utility, or MF Central. Uh, so these are both uh, government or quasi-government kind of uh, uh, utilities or apps. And then there is Zerodha, there is Grow. So whatever you like. So it's quite easy uh, and you don't have to worry about if I go direct, how will I transact, right? Uh, and as you can see, the amount of the hit is quite substantial. Now, it becomes a little more complicated if you have these uh, regular funds and then you're wondering, uh, you know, should I switch to direct? Uh, so if you switch, there is a tax hit. Now, in this particular case, the tax hit, if the person switched their entire thing, so remember the 10 lakhs has been there for 10 years, so it's grown into a fairly substantial amount. And the gain is quite a lot because it's done well. Uh, so there is a tax hit, even after the grandfathering and stuff like that. So that tax hit in this case is uh, 4 lakhs, 2,760. So if you sell your entire Prag for a regular portion, uh, then you will pay a tax of 402760. And then you can invest the sale proceeds less the tax uh, into the direct version. And if you do that, again, because of the difference, the higher um, CAGR of direct, uh, you're going to get more return. Um, so it, it takes approximately, in this case, two years. Uh, if you uh, keep this for two years, you will more than recover this tax hit due to the um, added um, return that you're going to get. Now, these calculations are a little complex. So if you do need help, uh, you can ask your advisor to help you with these. You can try and do them yourselves. Or you can use sites like Barusa Club, which uh, 
help you do these kinds of calculations. Um, so I'll end with the bottom line that for any fresh money which you're putting into mutual funds, do not put it into regular funds. Put it into direct funds, whichever fund you choose. Uh, it should be direct. And every single fund, mutual fund, has a direct option. The second takeaway is that um, if you have regular funds, it may make a lot of sense for you to switch into the direct version. That all depends on how well the fund has done, what the tax it is, uh, and the, what is the difference between the CAGR uh, for the direct version and the regular version. Um, but it's so the comp, uh, calculation seems complex. It's actually not that complex. You could do it yourself, or like I said, uh, ask your advisor or um, use sites like Barosa. Thank you very much for listening to.